Hi, welcome to the Rapid Return Show, powered by Otis AI. I'm Clarence, I'm the host of the show today, and I'm sitting with Neji, the founder of PayTalk. How are you doing, Neji? Well, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah. It's great to have you on. Yeah. Um, please tell us uh, about PayTalk and you know, give us like your kind of three minute elevator pitch. Okay. So basically PayTalk is this platform that turns your devices like your Alexa or your Siri or your Google Assistant into a powerful tool for conversational commerce. So you know there's over 2 billion Alexa, Google, Siri devices out there and people use them for things like Oh, what's the weather? Oh, what's the uh, what time is it? We're saying what PayTalk does is that it makes it, those devices more useful. So you could do things like, hey, get me coffee every morning at eight o'clock. And it creates a whole assistant that can actually help you do a whole ton of stuff that you do on routine. Yeah, so that's PayTalk in a nutshell. Now, is my assistant going to just randomly order me things that I don't want? Or? <laughs> no, 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 you tell it what you want. Okay. So you could say, hey, uh, Alexa, uh, get me coffee at 8 o'clock every morning because probably that's your routine. And at 8 o'clock in the morning, you get a text and Alexa tells you, hey, I am about to order coffee. Uh, do you want me to still go ahead? If you say yes, go ahead or no, it will do the order and someone from DoorDash or Uber Eats will bring you a coffee. You could do things like find groceries, all of that. So we are, basically, we looked at what people do. We looked at lifestyles and we said, why can't we create a digital assistant? that truly, truly serves the needs of people so they can focus on all the stuff that's important. So that's, that's great. Uh, that's and you stuff. built it on top of the devices that they already have in their homes. Yes. So you don't have to get the device in the home anymore. 100%. You just have to get them to add PayTalk to their existing device. Correct. So how do you do that? Well, um, basically, there's a lot of engineering behind it. Like I'm an engineer by background and um, I started PayTalk when I saw an ad first of all, and the ad said, hey, uh, it showed a little girl who was picking food from the garbage truck. And the ad said, if you can give $20 monthly, to, it will help people like this. So I thought, oh, let me try and donate. And I found the process to be long and tedious. So I was like, what if I could say, hey, Alexa, give $20 monthly to the Red Cross or UNICEF or whatever. And that's when the idea for PayTalk came. So I went ahead and built it. And uh, the idea is around a concept that's been around called ambient computing where the idea where your devices are sort of aware about your context or aware, about, aware of your circumstances and can act almost independently uh, as a whole. So that's the, basically the philosophy behind uh, what PayTalk does. Like so, Jarvis. Yes, more it, or less, yeah. The world is moving, Man. AI is moving, has become way uh, advanced and better. So with improvements in, the, in that field, we were able to do things like say, hey, get me coffee from Starbucks uh, every Tuesday. And uh, on Tuesday, uh, the device will basically do, do its thing and notify you that, hey, I've got your coffee here. Here, here's what, what you've asked for. Here's and where, where are you as, as a company? Is this, um, is it out there in the world? Do you have people using PayTalk yet? Yes, as a matter of fact, we, we have a mobile app that's on iOS and Android. And uh, today we are releasing our Alexa skill. And the Alexa okay. skill, we got it also, we got investment from Amazon. So a shout out to Amazon for that. So we're bringing out the PayTalk Alexa skill on Amazon devices and people can basically do all kinds of things that naturally the Alexa cannot do. So, for example, we have a feature that lets you buy game tickets. You can be watching TV and you see your favorite uh, football game and you can be like, hey, OK, get me tickets for this. And once you have an Alexa device on that TV or a fire stick and that will work uh, completely for you. Awesome. So yeah. since we're on the rapid return show, I have some financial uh, questions to yeah. ask you. Um, so you, you mentioned transactions that are happening, right? Yes. Buying coffee, uh, ordering me pizza, yes. getting me tickets to it. Do you make a margin on those transactions? Yes, we do. Okay. Yeah. We make a small margin, but it's, it's, it's big enough to actually keep sure, those Sure, but it, it's volume, yes. right? Yes. So, um, so is it free for me to install PayTalk and then you kind of monetize it when I do those uh, transactional activities? Yes, that's correct. So PayTalk is free. You can download it on the store. You can activate the skill on your Alexa app and uh, it works that way. So in terms of like return of return on investment, if, yeah. if you know these numbers yet, do you have any idea what it costs you to acquire a, a user, right? Oh, okay. And then uh, any idea like what, what they're worth long time yes. uh, or long term? Yeah, the basic, basically, uh, currently our customer acquisition cost is around $5 and uh, customer lifetime value is around uh, $800 right now. 
Wow. Yes, because of the recurring feature, we are like the first platform that has this thing that uh, the, the AI in Paytalk is so good that you could say, hey, get me coffee every every Monday or every morning at this time. We could even say things like, hey, get me get me a salad at 6 p.m. or get me dinner from this particular place. And Paytalk does that routine. So each time with each order, we're making those margins. So the value we, uh, that we, we get and uh, tapping into the routines that customers have uh, makes it really, uh, really interesting. You, you had me at $5 turning into $800. Yep. <laughs> That's what I call a return. Yep. Uh, so, so how many customers can PayTalk handle? Like, you know, does the computer break if you have too many customers or like, is there like a limit? Uh, no, no. PayTalk can handle uh, anything, hundreds to hundreds of millions of customers. In fact, uh, we're targeting the 100 million Alexa devices in North America. Okay. Uh, we already have a million restaurants and grocery stores on PayTalk platform. So if you use it and say, hey, get me groceries from wherever, you could, it could find you the exact stores. And we're integrated with all the other services like Uber Eats, DoorDash, um, Instacart, you know, so, so, so yeah. You, you're ready for, for scale. Yes, yeah. So what, what's holding you back from having 10 million users right now? Well, we, we took our time to build a platform. This has been in development for two years. Okay. In fact, we, were, we actually released the first beta alpha version last year, and we did $100,000 in sales in okay. just a short time in one city. So what we did was we decided, okay, how can we build the platform in a way where it can scale to millions and millions of users all across the world? For now, we are focused in the U.S. and Canada. We okay. plan to eventually expand to Europe, the Middle East, and other other places as well. And what what is it going to take to execute those plans and and get those users in in large quantities? Well, it's funding. So we're we're currently doing a seed round. Uh, Pageup okay. has been bootstrapped. Uh, the only money we are taking out is from Amazon. So uh, we bootstrapped it. We like to joke that we bootstrapped it to up to the point where we, ha we have no boots no more. <laughs> so, okay. so now uh, now we are ready to scale. Uh, one important concept is product market fit. We wanted to ensure that we had the right product market fit. When we first built PayTalk, uh, like I, I wrote the I wrote the app myself. I, it took me six weeks. I wrote the app, built all kinds of integrations into it. But we had to find the exact niche, the exact the, exact, the pain points for the customers. So we said, what is that? What is that one thing that customers can actually really key into? And that's what we, we settled on: food, groceries. And then we have sports and we have new features coming out. Like we have a feature that where Peto can pay your rent. You can tell it, hey, I don't know the month. They send uh, pay hundred dollars to this person or even pay my phone bill. Yeah, we have all those features in the pipeline, which we are releasing as the years go by. And you you have revenue today. Correct? Yes, we do. Um, and where so and I understand you're making a transaction. You're making a, a margin on the transaction yeah. is who who's your partner that that carves out that margin on the transaction for you? Well, we- Or, or do you have multiple partners? Yeah, we have multiple partners at okay. this time. So we, what we do is that we have a, our system sort of like decides the best approach to route uh, uh, our traffic or orders oh, to. Wow. Yeah, so we, we have that in place at the back end. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I have a tip for you. Okay. Um, I understand that, that the only thing holding you back is, uh, you know, access to a marketing budget, yeah. right? Um, so my tip is to get that $5 cost of acquisition down to as low as possible. If, if you could get that to 50 cents, yeah. then that would maybe help you maximize what's left of those boots, yes. right? <laughs> and then and then maybe look into some form of revenue-based financing okay. because you know you you know you get a rapid return. Yes. Right? So you got to figure out how to um, how to come up with some budget yeah. and then and then maximize that budget as much as possible okay. so that you can, you know, like $5 to 800 is great, but you have a free product that has a lot of value. Um, our, our clients, uh, none of, we, I don't think Otis has any clients that have a freemium service mm -hmm. that are, that are paying, uh, $5 for a cost of acquisition. So yeah. I still think that's, that's a bit hefty. Okay. And, and I think that your target should be below a dollar. Okay. Um, so I, I would try to do that first. And like I said, if you can, you know, this isn't, uh, financial advice returns show, right? <laughs> this is rapid return show, but yeah. um, but if you can find some sort of revenue-based financing, since 
since you have revenue. Mm -hmm. um, for example, uh, I'm not sure if they lend in your space because they're strictly e-commerce, mm -hmm. but you are partners with Amazon. Yeah. Uh, we partner with Clearco. Okay. And uh, Clearco lends money uh, at preferential rates yeah. to advertisers who are using that money to advertise on Otis because they, they know that money is being spent well yeah. and therefore their risk of getting paid back is very low. Okay. So you could look into that. Um, you could even potentially look into uh, those partners that, that are paying you. But I, I would find some a little bit of capital. Use Otis if you'd like to okay, get sure. those get those costs down yeah. and then scale from there. Yeah, that, that's my advice. Yeah, I think that that's well taken. And uh, in fact, the uh, at this point, the only reason why we're, we're saying the CAC is at five dollars is because we are we're running a promotion okay. to onboard uh, customers, the first hundred thousand customers over the first six months. We're currently at five thousand. Uh, we haven't we are going into beta right into our like the first release and all that. And with five thousand customers, we have We've seen some traction, so some revenue come in. So we say, okay, how do we scale this now to 100,000 uh, users? Make it the, make the adoption rapid. That's why we put it at CAC but, uh, at $5. But we believe that over the long term, that, value, that number is going to come down a lot more, possibly to around the 50 cent numbers or, or below. I, I see what you're doing, but yeah. I think if you find the right, the right audience, the right customer, you don't have to bribe them. Yes. I, I think that, it will that there's itself. enough value there that it will sell itself. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Awesome. 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 <laughs> thank you. All Great. Right. Well, thank thank you for being on the show. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to do phenomenal. I'm going to get that app myself. Thank you. And um, <laughs> and if you found any of this helpful, please give me your feedback. Leave a comment below. Um, and if you'd like to get rapid returns for your business, Go to meetotis.com slash rapid returns. We will match your ad spend for the first month up to $250. Till next time.